Hello and welcome to tutorial number 12 in the Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 tutorials and right now I'm just going to teach you something really simple it's actually not new we've covered this in first of all the if statements tutorial and then the linking forms tutorial we're just going to put them together and to just try and help you understand it a bit more you know just so it's drilled into your head because the if statements is really important in this language. So go ahead, go ahead and create a new project. We'll call it login form. What we're basically going to do is we'll have a text box, a button, and then we'll d use an if statement to check if the password in the text box is correct. So you're going to need to add a text box. And we'll add a button. Now let's make the button say log in. Okay, now I'm just going to create a little label so it doesn't look so plain. We'll just put the text as please log in. Okay, before we continue, I'd just like to say this is not a way to secure your programs. Please do not use this method to try and keep your program secure because someone could easily look at the source code for this and then look at the password in the source code and then they'll be able to access it. Please don't use this to try and protect any data because it'll end up disastrous. Okay, so let's continue. Now that we've got our login form created, let's go ahead and add another form and we'll call it data.vb we'll add that and we'll just put a little fake label here saying welcome to the FB FBI secret files Okay, so now onto the code. If you go back to form one design, you're going to have the button, the label, and the text box. So double click the button, and this is actually some, something that we haven't looked at, which is the else part of the if statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if text box one dot text equals password123 which would be our password in this case then data.show okay so what this is going to do is if the text inside text box 1 is equal to password123 then it's going to show the form data okay so that that's nice but how would we make it so we could tell the user the password is wrong well in if statements you know you've had the else if well there's also just the else so else is it's gonna try this and it'll try any other else ifs and if none of them are true then it's going to go straight to the else so we'll have else which is going, going to be if any other string is typed in it's going to message box message box dot show wrong password because let's look over this again. It's going to say if the text inside text box one is equal to password one two three, and you can change this to anything you like, then it's going to show the form data. And if that is if that is false and the the password isn't password one two three inside text box one, then it's going to sim simply message the user saying wrong password. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so we'll start off by typing something random like H Y W whatever login wrong password. Ah, let's see, we'll type random wrong password. But when we type password one two three, it's look it shows the data form. So that's just a little thing you can think about and try and use if you want, just to understand the if statements and the showing forms a little more but please don't use this to try and protect any data because it's not the way to go about it 
later on well pretty soon in my intermediate tutorials I'm going to create a tutorial on HWID protection but for now just play around with this and don't try and protect your data with this so if you have any questions about this any problems just please leave a comment also if you have any requests or even any suggestions for how I do my tutorials then please just leave a comment and please also rate the video whatever you feel it deserves and for millions and millions of tutorials subscribe to my channel thanks